hopefully you guys can hear me today uh i'm trying for some really big bluegills again i believe i missed most of the amazing like catching season because of my ankle if you guys are new here i've had a messed up uh, achilles tendon for like five weeks six weeks um basically just out for the first time since uh walleye fishing so hopefully the next thing you see is me catching some fish Fish. <laughs> Forgot how big these guys are here. Big old female. Nice nine inch female. Hopefully we can get a bunch more of those today. I'm gonna keep a couple of these for food. There's another one. Another good female. Let this one go. Hopefully they're getting bigger. Okay, so I just caught another nine inch female off of camera so those of you guys that aren't new here know that's like the biggest i keep but uh if i'm going to keep the fat big ones anyways it's going to be a female so let's get a couple more another one This one, yep, camera's on this time. Oh, this one's big. Really big. Another female. That is a monster female. Let's see how big it is. <clears throat> Just under nine. Nine's my cutoff. I won't keep anything bigger than that. That's three. Starting to stack up up here. The first time I was able to get out on a warm day this spring. Thing is, is I think I still have to sharpshoot. Like you have to be right on top of these fish for them to bite. I think I got another big female. She was way back in there. Yep. Oh, come on. I break my line. Another big eight and a half. Yep. Just under nine. That doesn't feel like a bluegill. I looked back and my popper was under. Huh? 
This is probably a bass. Yep. <laughs> really big one. Let's see if I can land him on this four pound test. pre-spawn female, so I want to see how big it is. Start start the year off this way and then uh, get her back. Oh, that's a big fish. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, back at home. I was gonna do the outro on the water, and uh, first day back out on the water by myself, and uh, completely forgot I need sunscreen, and I should have brought my face mask and my hat, and uh, I need help from everybody right now. Now that I'm thinking about it, I need some gloves too. Uh, so that's not even the bad one. That's the bad one. Um, yeah, I'm going to suffer again for a little while here. Uh, the foot is doing a little bit better. Uh, I actually had to jump around on it a little bit today. So it, I can use it, but it's sore from doing that. And then obviously, Jesus, I didn't really look at myself here. Oh, man. Looks like I got some aloe to put on. Um, but yeah, just a tip. Go down in the uh, description, pick up some merch, get a face mask and a hat, and wear them. Otherwise, if you guys know a really good brand of gloves, uh, I, I, I want some fingerless ones, but like just like the end, end of the fingers. Um, wh whoever you think the best brand of uh, gloves is that you've used, not just that you've heard of, but anybody who's got any tips for me, I'm going to need them because I got some... Got some casting to do, and if it's already burning me here and freaking was this? It's still April. It's not even freaking May yet. <laughs> oh, anyways, you guys will probably see this by May, but uh, yeah. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's little uh, quick slam. Big bass, a couple big. Uh, was it four big bluegills? And then I got a couple of little ones here and there, but that wind was just blowing me around so much. I had no control. No accuracy, and uh, when you're fishing for those giant bluegills, you got to be like pinpoint perfect. Um, but I think that was like three nines and like an eight and a half. So good start to the season. Hit that thumbs up. I'll catch you next time.